In this section, we will learn KCL and KVL, Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law. Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law. Before that, let's first think about what is open, what is short. When you have an open in circuit, then there's no current go through it. So you don't have current. All the current will be zero. If you have a closed circuit, we call it a short. If you have a short circuit over here, then voltage across a short will be equal to zero. Because we assume when you get to a short, then you only have wires, wire connect from here to here, and we assume wire has zero resistance. First, let's define node. Node is defined as electrical junction of two or more circuit elements. So in this example, let's look at how many nodes we have. Obviously, this is a node because this is a junction between this element and this element. Now, how about uh, here? Here is a node. Here looks like another node. And number four looks at, like another node. But there's a rule. If nodes are connected by using pure wire, then we consider that is one single node. So actually, node 2, 3, 4 together is only one node. So similar things over here. Even though it looks like you have a node here, 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 but actually those nodes are connected by using wire. So they are only one node. So in this example, we actually have only three nodes. That is A, B, C. Now let's see loop. Loop means closed pass. So let's count how many loops we have. One, two, three, four, five, Six. This is the exercise. Please count uh, how many loops and how many nodes in the circuit below. Answer, there's six loops. Where are the six loops located? There's one loop here. And another loop here, third loop, fourth, fifth, sixth. How many nodes in the circuit below? This is one node, remember? Looks like they are one, two, three, four, but since they are connected by using wire, so this is one node. And here's one, there's another one, this one, that's it. So overall, we have one, two, three, four nodes. Now let's look at Kirchhoff's current law. The Kirchhoff's current law is defined as the algebraic sum of the currents entering a node is zero at every instant. Or you can say the sum of the current entering a node equals the sum of the currents leaving the Now we use this video to demo Kirchhoff's current law. In this circuit, you see we have 
four components over here. We have a current source that is one ampere, and we have one k ohm resistor, another one k ohm resistor, and two k ohm resistor located over here. And in the third case, you can see I inserted three current meter in the circuit. Pay attention. Current meter, when you connect a current meter, you need to connect a current meter in series in the circuit because the current must flow through the meter. Then the meter can tell you what's the current value. So now, let's review what is KCL, Kirchhoff's current law. Kirchhoff's current law is talk about for a node like this node, for a node, the total current into the node is equal to the total current leaving the node. So <clears throat> now let's run this circuit. Yeah, pay attention to this node. Let's see what will happen. Okay, now I write. Now let's check the current value. Okay, can you see here? And uh, this is uh, the meter one. The current meter one shows one ampere, and those two one go down, one go this way. That is leaving this node. And if you add those two together, those two currents together, you will see. Their value is exactly equal to this current. This show for a node total currents into the node is equal to the total currents leaving the node. Now let's see this exercise. Please try to use KCL to solve the problem. Suppose there's a circuit circuit like this, and I put three meters. Here, current meter. And the first meter shows two amperes. Second meter shows one ampere. And what should be the reading on the third meter? Let's first define this node. We can call it node A. Three branches connected to this nodes. Two amperes in. And the two other currents leaving, one of them is one ampere. So how about this current? Based on KCL, total current in two ampere is equal to total currents leaving the node. So from this equation, you can solve the unknown current should be also one ampere.